In this demonstration, I want to talk about arrays and then how that we can get signals that at the moment we can just hear out through the speakers, but I would like to see those signals in some type of 2D graph on my patch screen. I can do that using arrays. Uh, at the moment, I've just got an oscillator, a DAC object, a number box and a V slider attached to one another. And so the net effect of that is, is that I've got a slider that emits a sound between 200 and 600 hertz, which is the range of the slider. I'm just going to switch off the sound there again. And what I want to do is I want to create an array. I want to chart that sound, that sine wave, uh, coming out of that oscillator object. I want to chart it in on a 2D graph on my patch. So the first thing I need to do is create an array. Now an array is a special type of object in all programming languages. And what it generally means is I can store lots of data in one particular place. If I go to the put menu, and right down the bottom of the put menu is the array option. So I click on array and that results in a dialog box. So I've got a lot of different options here I can do. One is the name. At the moment I'm just going to use the default name that pure data is given to me, which is array1, but I can choose any name that suits me. Uh, size is 100, which is fine. Uh, I've got the different ways I can plot the array. I've got three different options there. For this case I'm going to go for a Bezier curve and I want to chart it in a new graph. So every time that I create a new array, I get this new chart object or graph object coming up on the screen. And I can move that around in edit mode. At the moment, the array that I've just put in there, the one that's named array1, it doesn't have any data in it yet. So I just get this blank line right across the screen. But I want to chart whatever this object is doing. Uh, this uh, this oscillator object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tab right object and I just put in an object, type in tab right because it's going to be dealing with the signal. I'm going to put a tilde after tab right as well. And as an initial argument I'm going to type in the name of the array that I'm just after creating, array1. I want to feed in the signal coming out of the oscillator object into the inlet of the tab right, the tab right object. And then just to chart the tab right object or to fire or to trigger the tab right to write the signal coming in and write it to this graph here named array1, I need to put in a bang object as well. And I'll just connect that into the inlet of tab right. Now, if I switch on my sound, and I get an appropriate signal. At any stage, I can just click on the bang and it should write it to array one, and it does. And so if I increase my frequency, I should see more waves. And if I bring down my frequency, I should see a much longer wavelength. Now we'll see in different demonstrations later on that we can change the size of this array one to graph more and more of my uh, wave if that's what I want. But for the moment, that's just an introduction into how to write to these arrays.